okay guys so now uh, I know that you must have been really bored by now but let's move on and this one is a pretty tough problem and chances are that you won't get something like this on the GMAT because it's super tough but you never know if you're targeting something like 750s more than 7 uh, you know something like 780 or even a perfect score then you should learn this okay so let's do it um, okay so this problem says nine liters are drawn from a cask full of wine and it is then filled with water so basically uh, there is a cask which is full of wine and nine liters are taken out and then nine liters are replaced with water and this is repeated so nine liters of the resulting mixture is again taken out and then again water is added so now uh, uh, they are saying the resultant mixture after these two operations is six, 16 is to 9 so they are asking about how much the cask hold so do uh, so to do something uh, like this uh, first you have to understand what's going on here so there was a cask which was pure wine so you take out 9 liters which is in the first case all wine and then you add 9 liters of water so now you have wine plus water in the resultant mixture now when you take out 9 liters again it's not all wine it's some wine plus some water and this will be in the ratio of you know the entire volume minus 9 which will give you the wine uh, the portion of wine and 9 liters which will be the water so it will be in that ratio but we don't know that ratio yet because we don't know the entire volume yet and that's what we have to find so and we again replace it with water so it will have more water now and the resultant mixture they are saying is 16 is to 9 which will be 16 by 25 strength okay because it will be 16 wine and 25 the entire volume okay so now to do something like this let's say let's say uh, so basically in this problem let's say after replay up after removing nine liters of wine you had a particular quantity which we will say a as Q and and this nine liters of water we'll say as QB let's say this is QA and this is QB and QA plus QB is what we have to find because that will be the entire volume so now for QA the strength first time is 1 and for QB which is water the strength is 0 now let's say the resulting strength is x we can use that same equation and we can write it as x and this as 1 is 1 minus x and this is QA and QB so now we know that QA is to QB is equals equals x is to 1 minus x then this is for the first repetition okay for the second repetition we'll do it again so let's say for the second time the quantity remains the same QA and QB and the strength becomes X because this is the resulting strength here X which goes on to become the initial strength here and QB is again water so it will again be 0 and this time we know the resultant which is 16 by 25 so we do the same operation again here 16 we write down 16 by 25 because it's minus 0 and this one is x minus 16 by 25 so we again know that 16 is to 25 is 2 x minus 16 upon 25 is again QA by QB so now we can take this so we can say that these these two ratios should be same so we can say that x upon 1 minus x equals 16 by 25 upon x minus 16 by 25 so solving this we can solve it uh, very quickly by re reversing it so we can write 1 minus x by x and this we can write 25 x minus 16 upon 16 this would be and this would be 25 x upon 16 minus 1 1 1 goes 1 by x equals 25 x 16 so x is basically 4 by 5 so now you get x is 4 by 5 so you know that QA is to QB is 4 by 5 but we also know QB QB is 9 so if QB is 9 then 
QA is. I think there's something wrong here. Okay, okay, so x is 4 by 5. So this is 1 by 5. So let's make some space here. Let me delete some of this. And uh, okay. So 4 by 5 QA by QB equals. 4 by 5 upon 1 by 5 which is 4 by 1 QB is 9 so QA is equals to 36 so QA plus QB equals 45 this is your answer so basically what we did here was we took the initial resultant as X the original mixture is of one strength which is pure this is pure water so it's zero so we wrote it down x in 1 by m, 1 minus x we did the same thing again and we said that since qa is to qb remains the same so these two ratios should be also same so we formed the equations here and we got x from here which is 4 by 5 and qa by qb is 4 by 5 uh, is 4 by 5 is to 1 by 5 which is 4 by 1 so qa gives you 36 and then this gives you 45 an interesting thing to note down here is here the resultant strength is 4 by 5 so what you see is every time this method is repeated the strength becomes the square of it 4 by 5 square is 16 by 25 so if you for next time what you can simply do is if this step is repeated two times simply take the square root of this ratio and you would get 4 by 5 you don't need to go through this equation so what you can do here uh, let me do it again what you can do here is if this is 16 by 9 this will be 16 by 25 if it's 2 times then it will be square root of 2 times and this will be 4 by 5 so the initial concentration will be 4 by 5 okay so you know that this is 1 0 this is 4 by 5 this is 1 by 5 so this is 4 is to 1 so QA and QB will be 4 is to 1 so if this is 9 this is 36 simply 45 that's how you get the answer and let's say it could have been again repeated and then it would have became 16 square by uh, sorry 4 by 5 Q okay that would have been 64 upon 125 and in that case you would have simply taken the cube root of this and you would have again got 4 by 5 and you would have done the same thing again so this uh, remember this this is a very good technique in so this is the last problem we have and this is again a good problem and this is a fairly simple tricky problem so let's let's see how it's done so this problem is saying that in what ratio should water be added to a liquid costing 12 per liter to as to make a profit of 25% by selling the diluted liquid at 13.75 now if someone sells a 12 rupee liter 12 rupee liter per liter liquid on 13.75 the profit he's making is 1.75 and the profit percentage will be 1.75 upon 12 in 200 and this is not 25% okay so what should the shopkeeper do so as to make 25 percent so you he has to add some water to this 12 rupee liter so that the actual price of this solution becomes lower and so low that the profit margin on that will actually give you a 25 percent profit so let's see how it's done so for this we'll again apply the same method but we'll do a simple trick here so what we'll do here is he has to make a profit of 25% okay so now he is adding a something to this 12 rupee liter uh, 12 rupee per liter uh, solution to make it a, a a cheaper solution so now let's move backwards he is selling something at 13.75 which gives him a 25% profit so what this is the SP right this is the selling price what should what would be the actual cost price so actual cost price would be 1.25 CP will be 13.75 
so cp will be 1375 upon 125 this will be equal to 1 and 5 so cp is actually 15 sorry 11 this is 11 so cp is actually 11 rupee per liter okay so so basically if if he makes a solution which costs him 11 rupee per liter and then he sells it at 13.75 he will make a 25 percent profit so we work backward and we found out the cp now the solution he has is 12 rupee liter so he has to add you know some water to it so that he makes it a 11 rupee liter solution so this will be x minus 11 sorry this will be 11 minus x and this will be 12 minus 11 this will be 1 and this will be 11 minus x so this 11 minus x upon 1 will be equal to uh, so x is not is actually given as 0 this is 0 so this is 0 because x is water so this is straight away 11 is to 1 this is your answer okay so that brings us to the end of our video and hope you liked it guys uh, and if you have any suggestions feel free to comment and uh, i'll certainly try to incorporate those comments in the next video and if you think i was too fast or if you think i was too slow or if you think the handwriting was not tidy or anything of that sort or if you want something else or some other topic or if you want uh, you know me to solve a problem which has been bugging you for a long time please feel free to post that problem on the website and i'll get back to you hopefully with a video uh, so okay guys so thanks a lot for watching the video and uh, all the best for your GMAT. Have a good time. Bye.